I've been asked if I had dreams. Good afternoon, passengers. This is the dreams that felt real. Flight 370. Too real that it felt like a memory and not like a dream. But what about the other way around? Memories. So short, but profound. Surreal. That it felt like a dream and not like a memory. So what's the first thing you remember about this trip? I guess waiting in the airport. And what were you thinking about while you were at the airport? Uh, last time. Uh, yeah. It was a different side of Maldives, I guess. It was yeah. luxurious. Yes, super luxurious. Beautiful. A little bit of adventure too. Private? And Hmm. Privacy, yeah. It, it, it was an experience that I doubted if we could match this time. I really loved the vibe, the public, the music in every corner. The ocean was beautiful. The view was extraordinary. I remember when we flew the drone and saw the aerial view of the island? Oh yeah, it was so beautiful. I mean, we can never understand the beauty of it until we see it from above. It was so good. We were too mesmerized by how beautiful the island was that we forgot to land it before the batteries became empty and I had to do an emergency landing on the beach. Yeah, yeah it we... was quite a memory. We had to like rush to the beach to find the room landed a few hundred meters away, I guess. So, yeah, I, I ran into a group of Indian tourists and I asked them if they saw the drone landing there because I kind of knew that that was exactly where I landed the drone, but I was quite surprised because they hadn't seen it. And then you came running by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing the drone footage. You should see my face. I'm so tensed. Yeah, and then suddenly like, that guy just called you and pointed out yeah. saying that the drone is over there. It was a relief. It was a relief. I was so mad at you. <laughs> How does it feel to have lost the drone for the first time? Is it not a Bleep it out. So the whole purpose of this trip was to experience the things that we did not experience the last time. The most important of all those experiences being a lifelong wish that I've had with you know. Swimming with the whale sharks. But we were not going to see the whale sharks straight away. We had another trip planned. Something which uh, almost as exciting as a whale shark. Can you see any sharks over there? Huh? You know, I remember just jumping into the ocean and seeing a couple of sharks and getting all excited about it. They were like moving towards a boat where the boat people were feeding it. There were a couple, till there were more. And more. <laughs> more. Look, the shark was under me. You remember how massive they were? The only thing I could think about was if they are this big, then how big is the whale shark going to be? Huge. Really huge. It was easily the most graceful and the most terrifying thing at the same time, watching those things move. No, no, no. I think 
Yeah, and then we went to Fulidu Island and we saw stingrays. The, the way they look, they don't seem like the most promising of creatures, but they just come to you. Yeah. They just swim around you and... No. Oh, yeah. They're flappy, <laughs> kind of, you know. Fins. Fins, yeah. Then we had lunch on the sandbank. I wanted a few good shots of the sandbank on my drone and that is when we realized that the drone was not going to fly anymore. Instead I thought that was because of my landing and then we came back home and realized that you had accidentally dipped our camera bag in the water. <laughs> that very tiring but rewarding experience, we had something relaxing planned and we went sunset fishing. Once again, not our first time doing that. You remember the last time? Yes, it was disappointing. All those fishing people. Fish left to us. Somebody caught you. Abhi, what are your thoughts on not catching fish four times? I am helping the biodiversity of this planet, not making species go extinct. I mean, imagine a boat full of people and imagine being the only people there who did not catch a fish. That's what happened to us last time and you <laughs> proclaimed that it was. Ashal. What are your thoughts? Are we gonna are we gonna catch a fish? I think it's going to be like the last time we're not gonna get any fish. The fish is gonna get out of fish. I, I wasn't really hopeful of catching a fish this time because it is really meant for patient people and we are not the most patient people out there. I really don't think it's about patience. But it's about patience it's and it's about concentration. I it's had the utmost patience last time. <laughs> <laughs> I was moving around the boat trying to find a good spot. What are your thoughts? Stop hitting me with the flashlight. One fish. Is it so hard? Yeah, and once again, everybody in the boat was catching until I did it too. I, I caught that fish. The fish. <laughs> What is this fish called? It's a type of emperor. Uh -huh. It's not that common also. Oh. It's just bad luck. It's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You can see the spike yeah. here. It's here. That's, well, that one, the tip of this one is also very painful. Mm. The worst one is that peak spike. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like your hand will swell up. It will come blue. Mm. I forgot to mention everyone, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Before yeah. touching the fish, make sure to show us the fish first. Oh, because okay. some fish like scorpion fish, lion fish, things oh, okay. like oh, that yeah. can yeah. be yeah. very oh, sure. <laughs> Damn. bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Had I touched it, things could have gotten very bad. You could have told us a little bit earlier about the chances of I know. getting such fish. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't tell us anything. It was like, <laughs> enjoy guys. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think we couldn't have caught a better fish. You know, from a story point a of view. A story point of view. <laughs> <laughs>
sending a drone up there is one thing, but sending yeah. yourself up there, <laughs> true, that is something else. Yeah, and the rest of the day was all about walking around the island, seeing everything that the island had to offer, eating food, shopping for souvenirs. I remember I was walking from shop to shop and not finding something meaningful enough to buy. There were things that you wanted to buy, but things that didn't mean anything just yet. Yeah. We had to come back after a day to find something that meant something. And yeah, finally, the day was here. Abhi? Yeah? What day is it today? Today is the day I finally see some whale sharks. Hopefully, yeah. What are your thoughts? <laughs> you don't want my thoughts because I know the kind of luck that I've had over the years regarding many things that I so desperately wanted. So I don't... We got married sure. one year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was lucky. I don't mistake my name. You are always late, so you are again late. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was going through the footage and I realized that everybody was excited about whale sharks. Everyone was planning how they wanted their whale shark pictures to look like, how they wanted it to go and without fully realizing how elusive and shy creatures these whale sharks were and how difficult it was to even spot one. <laughs> kind of hundred, uh, not hundred, <coughs> so we can see, but we will try our best to find it, okay? Now this was a trip which took forever because we were on the ocean for two to three hours. I remember the boat crew flying drones looking for the whale sharks, not finding anything. You were starting to get pessimistic saying that we are not going to find anything. I mean, yeah, based on my luck, even I thought the same, but finally they said, Jump. And I remember that this was my first time swimming in the ocean without a life jacket. And I remember seeing a shadow in the distance. I remember swimming towards it as fast as I have ever swam in my entire life. I remember seeing something. Something so large, something moving so gracefully. It seemed like it was moving slow, but it was not. The way it moves, the way its body reflects the light, it reminds me of Van Gogh's Starry Night, but all a fish. Yeah, I remember having these thoughts, and I remember people catching up with it. So, and I watched as it just descended into the depths and disappeared just like that, just like that. I probably had a, just a few seconds or maybe a minute with it. Now that I think back, it felt longer. Sorry. And I was glad I made the jump. I guess, though I was apprehensive about, you know, not having the kind of privacy and luxury that we had the first time, Mafashe was a different kind of experience. I really, really loved it. And that is just what life is also about. It's not just about the luxury. It's about all kinds of experiences. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we saw two sides of the same place. So I guess that is all about Maldives, memories and turquoise. Yes. Until next time.
is probably not in a very long time but every year <laughs> we'll see about it we'll see